right, let's get Danny press conference uh, out the way and my thoughts on it. I thought it was a good one, but let's go through it. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you know when videos go live. Apologies that this video is live uh, late. This would normally go up a bit earlier, but I had kids, so I had to go be a dad instead of uh, doing the content creation for you. Uh, but Sheffield Wednesday, that Max Lowe and Danny Rule have been talking to the press today. Uh, it was a bit of a press conference that was a slightly delayed, uh, but all in all, it was good. Um, so Max Lowe went on to say, we feel like with the squad we've got, we can complete against any team in the league. Even when the loss against the team that are high up the table, we've not come away from those games feeling less confident. The gap and nose that it's just more things, sloppy errors leading to gold maybe, and we can move on quickly and still improve. Uh, you look at the Sheffield United game, and it's one bit of quality that done us really. I feel like we played well against them. Uh, it would have been a different outcome. It was the build-up that probably annoyed me more. Low smile when he asked as the, the hostile relationship. Uh, reception. I said, I just wanted to get on the pitch and play. I didn't want to get, just get through it. I wanted to be one of the best players on the pitch and win. And that's what I really want to do. I came away from that game very disappointed with us losing. But again, it shows we can complete against any team. I was just blocking out the noise and concentrate on my role within the team. Which I like. It shows a maturity, but it's not the first time he's had to do this, is it? Hopefully, the fixture we've got coming up uh, in different terms of atmospheres and results, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. We can't wait for the fixtures, but it's a long way to, uh, to point and put our focus on ourselves. Um, he said how he's really got into the team. He said, we can really go into games that bet in uh, to be on on the floor, sun shining. We could be playing in a tight, cagey game like most games in Chancellor, and we have to be ready for that. It's all about balance and improving all the time on both sides of the game, which I like. I like that it's talking about wanting to get improvement sorted and be able to be ready for it. So Danny turned up. He looked knackered, but also looked very refreshed as well. Uh, it was interesting how some of the stuff he said. Uh, he said it was good timing uh, with everything because we started to get people back. He's had meetings talking about the January window during the break as well, seeing what they can do. The only concern we've got at the minute are Akin and Olaf, which is good. Well, it's not good they're injured, but it's good that that's uh, the only one now. It means Nathaniel's back. Um, Bill about set pieces, trying to fix it. And he said how they've been defending much better the set piece and making sure they're more organized. They look back at the games and they want to improve. Uh, the second threats in set plays is something how they can try and train for the scenario i think they've conceded 25 goals he said it's not good enough need to be better we've made a lot of mistakes and we need to improve our defense on the pitch a lot of things to work on he said what's the ambition for the season danny enjoyed the progress from last season he wants to see us higher up and we have 12 points more than we did last season he spoke about how max has done really well coming to the team and sharing the role with marvin and they've been doing really well max is somebody who very much understands the game and knows how it played and i like that i think the way max has felt well earlier was really good uh danny was improving players on different levels levels and input and improving but he will support all players charles have been doing well and he's had a meeting with him today to get where he wants to see him do next now the information of charles and arsenal popped up i know someone mentioned it um recently and i did the short on it um uh, at the end of the day he's not our player like, it's good that he's been looked at by Arsenal. That's good for him. But he's not a player. He's a Southampton player. Uh, it's just a pity he's not ours. Uh, he's getting a lot of the plaudits. And he's getting a lot of minutes. And that's what he wants. And they they can't see him going back to Southampton, uh, which is good. He wants to try and bring players in from the Prem. Uh, it might not be easy to convince the players to come here. Players are in a similar level. They were... 
very close in game barring the Norwich game. And he's right, it has been very close. It's been one or two. Um, the Ubo question popped up and I knew it was going to. And I thought Danny handled the Ubo question really well. He said he's helping the team with our goals. He was brought in um, when he was not trusted at other club crews on the bench. Uh, Ubo came in, he did well, he got his chances. And it's about now trying to just get him back to going. He, Danny trusts that he will get him back to going soon. Um, and it's one of those things with Ubo, I think... He spoke about how maybe they haven't played or got the result they wanted in terms of goals. They, they get one or two, three chances and goes. We will both seems like he got a bit more uh, credit in the bank kind of thing. So we'll see. Uh, Alex Miller asked Danny about his break. What did he do? He walked on top. Uh, he read the uh, Chavi uh, Alonso book. I think that's what he said. Um, book and D Watson games and I like that I think it's really good to see that he's always learning always wanting to do uh and it was interesting when he was like talking about uh the way it is in England in terms of the football schedule you're speaking to a Bundesliga 2 chairman and he was going I've got game 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 where they haven't got many soon and they'll be on their break soon which was interesting um I don't think many people picked up on that. He's happy that the embargo got lifted. He knows what he can do and what the impact of the budget is probably be more loans. And midweek, so we had the snow start of the week, uh, Monday, Tuesday-ish, we had the snow. And it they, they had to become a club effort to get the snow off the pitch. Came on Tuesday night, actually. Come Monday, we had our hospital. Tuesday. Um, but it was a club actor. He did an emergency phone call to get people from the club to come down. About 25 people came down, helped to get the snow off the training pit to get it sorted. And it's nice. I like that. I like that bringing them all together. Um, and had that camaraderie. Uh, got both about Beadle being his number one. Mentioned how Ben is still in there. Well, it was all about Beadle and Charles. I felt it was really well. Um, uh, spoke about Chal Chalabar's injury and he basically said he, he would want to go tomorrow if he could but I think he's going to wait and see what happens the whole situation with Wilder popped up and the song uh, he gave he gave a bit of a bet but he kind of also said there's something it, it says a lot when the team that just beat you is singing a song about you, which says a lot. And he's and he said, I can't wait for March. Wait till March and we'll see what happens uh there. But he took it in the good jet and it felt like there were things he wanted to say, but wasn't going to because he could get himself in trouble. It was like if I beat kind of situation. I don't think he wanted to enable that kind of a war, that kind of a situation going on. And it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, I think he took it with some tongue and cheek and saw it what it was. And he just, I think he, I, the stuff that you could tell he wanted to say and didn't, let's put it that way. But with that being said, we are going into the Cardiff game. Let's see what we can do. Some good game coming up soon for us as well. Some winnable games. And we could do with going on a run. If we're going to run now, it'd be fantastic. A lot of other clubs will want to see that as well. But yeah, busy, busy week. Cardiff Saturday. Hull. Tuesday. Excuse me. Games come thick and fast now, so we'll see what happens with them. <laughs> 